Stay a while and listen. Hello, welcome to the Freak Show. Bumpy McSquigums here. I want to thank you all for joining me as I start up my coverage of Disgaea 5 Complete. It is on PC, it is by NIS and NIS America, and we are going to hop in and we're going to get started. I have been waiting for this for a very long time. I wanted to play Disgaea 5 when it originally released on the PS4. Did not have a PS4 at the time. I do now. However, this is the PC version. I've been waiting a while for this, as has a lot of folks. But it is time to start our adventure. I'm pretty stoked, guys. I'm really excited. Another world crisis of extinction level proportions was perpetrated by the Demon Emperor, Void Dark. The historians of later generations look back in puzzlement at this historical event, the largest Netherworld War, which erupted and expanded in a flash, and ended in just one night. Some call it the war with no victor, while others call it the war with no hero. The truth of this event remains a mystery to this day. Interesting. <gasps> There's a pretty army! What? If you guys don't know... It's reckless of you to invade the territory of the lost. If you guys don't know and you're just checking the channel off for the first time, you're seeing the game, whatever. I am a massive Disgaea fan. I'm still a noob by all stretch of the imagination. I played through the first Disgaea game's main story. I just finished up recording Etno Mode with Disgaea 1 Complete. I played through the main story campaign of Disgaea 2. Haven't started Axel Mode yet. Never got to play 3 or 4. I didn't find out about Disgaea until a bit later into, like, years after it was created. So, I love this series. I'm so glad and happy that I found it. And, yeah, anyway, I'm gonna, we're gonna, we're gonna hop in. I'm just a massive fan, so you'll hear me marking out quite a bit, just so you know. I don't know which netherworld you're from, but we're gonna put you in your place. You can't fight a pretty army, man. Look at the... Okay, maybe you can. Huh. She, he, that one's holding T. Serafina! At this rate, they're gonna annihilate us, dude! Well, what did you just say? I will not abide being annihilated. It's probably a good plan. One sardine for 20 hours of labor. That was our agreement. Now, put your backs into it. Your soft, squishy backs. They're all dead. One sardine to fight a merciless battle isn't a fair trade, dude. First of all, it's impossible for us to defeat Demon Emperor Void Dark on our own, dude. Hmm. Though it's against my upbringing to sully my own hands, this once I shall unleash my overload power, Baylor Gaze. Okay. Whatever that means. Uh, um. Hello? Dude just Excuse me. Gonna eat? You right there. What do you think you're doing? Uh, eating, obviously. Okay. That's that's fair. It's a fluffy rising dragon bowl with all white breast meat from a thousand-year-old dragon lord and its egg. It's delicious. Uh, okay. Um, all right then. I'm finished refueling. Let me get rid of these guys. Really? What is happening? You destroyed an entire squad of the Lost Army single-handedly. Okay. I found my prince. Okay. Uh, the pretty salutes. I love it.
Let's do this. Did... Did that entire cinematic just not exist for you guys? I looked over and I saw that my recording was black. Episode 1. Prelude to Vengeance. That could be a problem. Well, I'll have to see what I can do to, to fix that. I believe that is the opening cinematic of the game, too, so I should be able to replay Excuse it and insert me. it if Please I have wait. To. My goodness. Please wait, Sir Kilia. Do you have any idea how much walking I had to do to catch up with you? I spent one whole hour walking nonstop through the desolate netherworld that is Blood Parch. At this rate, my legs will be as rock hard as a foolish Gorgon who was petrified by a cockatrice. That is weird, because Gorgons generally also turn things to stone with petrification. Anyhow, I just wanted to say that I can't wait to see all the innovation and the new stuff, because, again, I played one, I played two, and there was quite a bit of new stuff there, from, like, the tower attacks to... There, there was a bunch of stuff, like, just being able to... Like, quality of life things, where you're able to insert your characters in the the list as opposed to having to swap them and move. There's a whole bunch of stuff that was new and exciting in the second game. And I can't wait to see what the fifth one has. This is the latest iteration of Disgaea, so there's got to be a ton of new stuff. I I'm just, I'm fired up, guys. I'm sorry, my enthusiasm is bubbling over just a little bit. We're quiet again. Well, Madam Serafina didn't actually take a single step herself, dude. <laughs> I will have silence. If you want to rest, take all the time you want. I'm leaving. How cruel, Sir Kilia. Surely you mustn't be planning to leave me here all alone. You decided on your own to follow me. You are incorrect. Sir Kilia, you decided on your own to save me from the lost. Now Fair. you must take responsibility for that decision. That's unreasonable. I'm out of here. Is it? <laughs> oh, what? What? Why? You just shot you, him? You can't even dodge a simple attack. You must be exhausted. Or he wasn't you. ready for it. If you keep pushing yourself like this, you will never defeat Demon Emperor Void Dark. In fact, you're liable to become roadkill. This gate connects to uh. a pocket netherworld set aside for my exclusive use. Now, Prinnies, please be Sir Kilia's escort. Okay. So she just shot him? <laughs> All oh, men are is. destined to dance in the palm of the hand of the Overlord of Gorgeous, Serafina. The Overlord of Gorgeous, huh? Yeah, so there's... It seems like every... It seems like every uh, Disgaea game has to have some sort of absurd laugh, and apparently she is our absurd laugher. Laharl from the first game. I think it's probably Axel from the second game. I can't remember if there was an absurd laugh. Is there any of the main characters in the second game? It doesn't matter. Anyhow, welcome to my pocket netherworld, Sir Kilia. You can walk around here by using the left analog stick, I guess. When you want to talk to me or the other citizens, you just stand in front of them and press the X button. If you want to change the view, press the L1, R1 button to spin the camera, or press square and L1, R1 to change the zoom. That's a little bit of a strange thing. This is the Netherworld Hospital. When you're injured, come here to treat your wounds. Now, I believe the complete edition comes with a whole bunch of stuff in the special content area there that we can unlock. I'm probably not going to unlock much of it. I think there's a whole bunch of stuff that's going to make the game super... All right, a lot easier. I'll probably unlock some of the extra characters because I believe there are a few of those. But I'm not going to go crazy with it. If you guys want to see me just unlock everything down the road, I will do that a little bit later on. But let me know. I'm going to be recording this in bulk before the game actually comes out, before you guys see anything. So I might even be 20 or 30 episodes in by the time that happens. I don't know. I'm fired up. I'm eager. So we'll see. All right, Netherworld Hospital. We have equipment. We have items and skills. That's new. This is the Rosen Queen Company. They sell weapons, armor, and recovery items that you will need in battle or for battle. When you want to go outside, please talk to the dimensional or the dimension printy. Of course, I'll go with you. Okay. And welcome. We're finally officially playing this. Oh, oh, that's. We have three jump buttons, apparently. We're officially playing Disgaea 5. Yeah, dude. Ever since Void Dark appeared, many netherworlds have become so brutal that other worlds have changed. Dude, back in the day, you were able to enjoy being evil and live the relaxing life of a demon, dude. Play video games for three days straight, not wash your hands after using the bathroom, and lick a girl's recorder, dude. What? 
Ah, I want those days back, dude. Why would you want to lick a girl's... Rec you know, it's fine. Are you my master's enemy? No? I am Madame Serafina's assistant. I have served Madame Serafina since she was little and have treated her like my own daughter. You look very zombie-esque. Are you a zombie? So I'll kill a dirty insect like you if you try to put your hands on Madame Serafina. Oh, okay. Alright. Hi, there's another one. I, I'm going to assume you're... You're a fashion manager. While I was organizing the closet, I found a bunny suit that is weird. Um, what should I do with it? I want Serafina to wear it? Uh, no. Her regular clothes are fine? Come on. Alright, we'll look at it. I mean, her regular clothes aren't exactly the most um, unflattering. Fine. I'm naughty, I guess. Oh, gosh. Well, it doesn't look that much worse. Honestly, they're about, I mean, they're different, but they're about the same. Whatever, we'll go with the bunny suit, fine. Does she have a tail? She does have a tail. Okay. The army under Demon Emperor Void Dark's control is called the Lost. You don't want to get involved with them, dude. If you encounter them, you have two choices, obey or die. You either lose your freedom or your life, dude. I'm not trying to ba brag, but I pissed myself during the la that battle yesterday. Dude. Yeah. Well, I guess I'll talk to you. Gorgeous overlord, huh? Sir Kilia, we don't have to worry about being invaded by the lost here. Please, relax and enjoy yourself. Sorry, but I don't have time to waste here. Where's the exit? Uh... My, what an injury! You must have been wounded during our battle against the lost. Mm, no, I got the scar when you shot me. Sir Kilia risked his life to protect me from the lost because he was seduced by my beauty. Yes, I know how you feel. You don't have to be you don't have to feel embarrassment. It's natural for men to kneel before me. Oh. <laughs> Are you listening to me? Now then, allow me to reintroduce myself since I am going to be your master. Wouldn't that be technically mistress? You know it's fine. Uh, I am the wealthiest in all the three worlds, the Princess Overlord of Gorges, Serafina. The previous overlord, my father, tried to arrange a marriage of convenience between me and Void Dark. Got pissed, so I ran away. Uh, you're an overlord, but you ran away from your home. What kind of overlord are you? Well, if Void Dark wasn't in the picture, I never would have had to dirty my feet in blood parch. That's why I'm out to get revenge on Void Dark. He humiliated me. You call that getting revenge? Uh, anyway, fine. I don't have any interest in who you are. Do whatever you want. Oh, ho, ho, ho. <laughs> not so fast. You are my servant. Excuse me? I'm your what now? My, I just remembered, Sir Kilia. Have you been saving? Nope. Yeah, I'm on top of it. That's my Sir Kilia. Save your progress to record your activities. However, Sir Kilia, people tend to forget to save from time to time. I do have autosave on, by the way, guys and gals. Would you like to take extra care and save one more time? I don't really think I need to, but if you're going to be so persistent... I'm actually not going to save. I'll just, I'll just go off the autosave. It's fine. I, I'm not really reading these uh, news things up in the nether news here, but I think I'm going to check out the next one that goes by. Because I imagine they're probably remotely humorous or have some sort of inside jokes. There's a lot of dust. The printies must be slacking off. According to the experts, over 30% of all netherworlds are now under the Lost's control. Other netherworlds will need to take immediate action. Well, that wasn't very funny. Let's fix you up. I don't know that I like jumping with that button. Alright, we'll fully heal you for the damage taken. You will charge amount of hell to get HP and SP recovered. But there's a reward system for people who get beat down. Just don't get completely slaughtered. Okay, so we can get treated. Right, nobody's hurt. We have Kilia, Seraph, sorry, Seraphina, Jeff, or sorry, Seth, Jake, and Bonnie. I, I can sometimes read guys and gals. It's fine. Oh, that's cool. They actually have the listing right there uh, at face value, so you know what you need to actually get the rewards. I like that. Otherwise, like in Disgaea 2, and probably Disgaea 1 as well, you had to look up different things. That's, yeah, I like that. 
That's kind of cool. So yeah, so uh, essentially when you heal 200 HP, you're going to get a reward, and then at 3200, so on and so forth. Same thing with SP spell points, or spell power, or whatever it is. 50, four, uh, 400, 2000, and then it looks like if you're revived 5, 10, 25, and so on, times. And then there's ones where you combine all three, and you get a super reward, I guess. That's, I like that. I like that it's there, right in front of your face. That's, that's cool. One of our journalists began a feature on Carl, the warrior's body. The journalist longed for a great body, but couldn't handle the training from day one. Alright, there's some treasures. It looks like they kept the, I'm assuming there's an obligatory three. Oh, look, Plundaire's chilling. Uh, I don't know. I'm just going to kind of wander around real quick. I, I don't know how much of the gameplay we're actually going to see in this first episode. But I can also tell you guys I'm going to be putting out more than one episode on the first day that the embargo drops. So you will definitely see more. It's my turn. Oh. Uh, now, Sir Killia, please don't be so humble. Make yourself at home. I'm prepared. Yeah, 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 okay. Now there's no way I'm going to... I'm not going to use this power... This guy's power to defeat the Emperor of Void Dark. He'll be working for me till the day you die. You would think that this would be a place that would have, like, a... A hidden spot. Neil. Oh, please. Stop. Yes, yes, yes. Stop it! I am stuck! There we go. Well, I know why there's multiple jumps, but I don't know why there's... The jump is the same as, like, your inner... Oh, there's... There's the thing. It's the same as your interact deal. Oh, there's a little secret hidden spot over here. Nope, don't think I can do anything there. Nothing there. We're gonna come back and we're gonna, like... We're gonna spend some time here getting familiar with everything that's going on in this place. I know it's probably not the ooh another one. It's probably not the most exciting things. All right, so we got some stuff. I'll Captain do. Meaver, I'm captain of this pocket netherworld, Meaver. Okay, speak to the Dimension Printy to go wherever you want to go. Also, we are busy planning facilities for the pocket netherworld. This is gonna take some time, so please stay tuned. The item world, the Dimension Gate. That's I believe where we receive our special content. Uh, sorry, our like bonus DLC stuff. Know the hospital. Let's see here. Quests? Ah, are you here for the quest shop? Um, sorry, we're not ready yet. We'll be ready soon. Can you please wait? Yeah, I can, I guess. The Yamato Equipment Welcome. Shop. Welcome! If you're going to buy weapons and armor, the Rosen Queen Company is the place to be. We carry weapons that power up characters and armor that builds defense. It's all up to your taste, but when you buy, you should always consider the balance between weapon and armor. Nah, it's always weapons. When buying weapons, I recommend weapons that the character specializes, weapon mastery of A or B. The proficiency level will grow quicker for a character who is equipped with a sword that specializes in swords. Makes sense. As the proficiency level grows, they will learn sword skills, but they will learn them faster if they specialize in swords. Also, whether they specialize in it or not, if you unequip a sword, you can't use the sword skills. Re-equip to use. In the beginning, it's best to equip your favorite weapon and train with it. For further details about weapons, talk to Jen in the Pocket Nether World. Generally, the more expensive the armor, the better, but it will also damage your wallet, so think before buying. They handle shoes that enhance jogging, and finally, glasses do not boost your jumping. What? They handle shoes that enhance jogging, and finally, glasses do not boost your jumping, so please wear what you like. I, I don't understand. Did I miss the screen? Did I skip something? I'm sorry. That seemed very strange. But it looks like we can buy some stuff. We have 3,000 hell to start with. Um, there's a whole bunch of stuff that we can check out. I don't know if we're going to want to, but they're there. There's some items here. Hello there. Welcome to the Rosen Queen Co. Pocket Netherworld branch. We carry healing, stealing, and attack items. Attack items. When talking about items, people tend to prioritize weapons or armor, but healing items are very important too. I did learn this in Disgaea 1 Complete. Edna mode. I had to actually fall back on that, which is a rare and beautiful thing. The place that has items will help you when you needed. When you needed most is the item shop. Will help you when you need it most is the item shop. Yeah, sure. If you would like, come shop with us. There's not a lot of stuff available at the beginning. It's very strange. Then there's a skills shop. I don't even know what that's all about. I'm sorry, I'm still preparing the skills shop. Hmm. There's a printy over here. Drawing her attention is the last thing you want to do. 
you have no choice but to live your life as her possession, dude. Running away won't help. She'll just pursue you to the ends of the human world, dude. Another yeah, pretty. Dude. Let's talk it out. We're demons that get pushed around as underlings in the netherworlds and Celestia, dude. Each pretty has the soul of a criminal from the human world trapped inside until they work off their sins, dude. But we have to work 20-hour days for one sardine, dude. <sighs> These are sweatshop conditions. How can I pay off my sins? That is a very good question. That is... Oop, I fell in a hole. All right, what's up, man? Huh? Huh? I wasn't sleeping, dude. I wasn't sleeping. I was just running my errands in my dream. Uh-huh. Sure, dude. That dish Kilia was eating was bugging me, so I did some research, dude. Fluffy rising dragon bowls are mentioned in Gourmet Overlord uh, Sav Savarin's novel, Delicious Spirit. It was a, class a classy dish, dude. Uh, I want to try some, dude. Just a bite. D -d Don't look at me like that. Sure, dude. Demon Emperor Void Dark is feared for being the only invincible overlord, dude. Aren't they all? Kilia, you're such a daredevil for trying to fight Void Dark, the greatest overlord, all by yourself, dude. Yeah. Alright, looks like there's another maid thing here. They're in a maid's costume. Zombie maid? It's, a, it's her manager, Jane. Ah, I, I'm serving Madame Serafina. I'm, a no, I'm still a novice maid, but please allow me to work with my co-worker without troubling them. But by the way, what should I do with these broken plates? Uh, weird? Well, it is a very strange, lounge-esque feel to this place. Uh, I'm not gonna lie, there's a recruiter. There's these two peeps. What do you have to say, Nicole, the know-it-all girl? A word of advice. I'm thinking of giving you advice from here on out. I'm going to gather new information, so it'd be nice if you show up sometimes. Okay, you have more to say? I won't die. Attack with fists are crimes of passion. Uh, unlike other weapons, fists can cut the enemy's revenge gauge in half. So, if you don't want the enemy to get revenge, hit them with a fist. I don't know what that means. But I suppose we'll figure it out as we go. What do you want? Ask me anything about the weapons. There are a lot of basics, but I think they'll come in handy. Uh, what is weapon mastery? I mean, we kind of know this stuff already, but I'll, let's cover all our bases. Tutorial. What is weapon mastery? How well characters each use weapons is weapon mastery. I'm just gonna change voices randomly throughout. It's fine. No, it's fine. There are ten types of weapon mastery in total. It's interesting. Seven humanoid weapons and two monster weapons and armor. Oh, you get armor mastery. That is a strange one. Armor mastery. Okay, so seven humanoid weapons. The the sword, axe, spear, fist, staff, gun, and bow. I think. And then the two monsters, I think, are the physical damage one and the magic damage one, and then armor. I think that's everything. When your weapon mastery rises, you can bring out more abilities of that weapon. Your weapon mastery rises as you use that type of weapon. Makes sense. Also, when you reach certain levels of weapon mastery for each weapon, except for staves, you can learn weapon skills. Weapon mastery for armor rises as you get hit. It all makes sense. S is the highest rank for aptitude. The higher the rank, the faster the weapon mastery will rise and level up. Uh, beginners should try to use weapons that their characters are best with. In order to get the most out of their weapons and armor, be sure to remember their equipment aptitudes as well. And this can be checked from the status menu. By checking this, you can see how much of the equipment's potential you are actually using. That makes sense. So, if the aptitude is 120%, the character will gain 20% more than that item has to offer. So, for the most part, equipment aptitude is set, but there are ways to increase it. That, that's interesting. I, I, I didn't think it was like that. I thought that's how quickly you gained. So the aptitude is actually how effective you are with using the weapon. I guess that makes sense. So I kind of had it wrong. No, no. I, I just didn't think of it that way. Because you're, I always thought like the aptitude was the, the S, the A, the B, D, D, C, all that stuff. I thought that was your aptitude. But no, there is a percentage too. That makes sense. Okay, yeah, no, no, that's fine. I just, I haven't thought about that. Alright, let's check out the uh, monster weapons here. There are two types of units that, uh, there are two types of units you can use. Weapons? You can use humanoids and monsters. Oh, oh, no, units, okay. Humanoids can equip fists, swords, spears, axes, bows, guns, and staves. And monsters can only equip monster weapons. There are two types of monster weapons which focus on different stats. One increases attack and hit. 
And it's basically for physical attacks. They are good for brutes who attack, whose attacks are based on actual attack. The other increases Int and Resistance, which makes them better for magic users whose attacks are based on Int. Make sure you choose the right type of weapon based on the monster class. That makes sense. Alright, then we're going to go with Humanoid Weapons. They are weapons that only Humanoids can equip. Which weapon would you like to hear about? Oh man, there is a lot of info here. I'm sorry guys and gals, let's take a little bit of time. We're almost through it though. Fists are good weapons for characters who are good at close combat. Fist weapons increase your ability to counter attacks and are generally great for close combat. You said that already. Their normal attacks are based on attack and speed. Oh, I'm going to need like a chart. I'll never remember all this. Attack and speed for fist. Okay. This means that weak units can compensate for a low attack with a high speed. It's a very important factor. Keep in mind that even if you have a high attack, if your speed is low, you won't be doing much damage. Also remember that fist weapon skills often move the target around. Yep. Okay, uh, we're going to go with Sword. Swords are probably the most basic weapon in the Netherworld. Sword weapon skills are very easy to use in their areas, and ranges are very versatile. Also, units that are equipped with a sword will sometimes parry attacks, so they're great for defense. Oh, that's new. Beginners should be able to equip a sword without much trouble. Alright, Spear. Uh, spears are a little different, but still recommended for the, their ease of use. The greatest feature is that they can attack from two panels away, sure, making it harder for enemies to counterattack. Since they can attack from a distance, they can join team attacks and combos with a single execute. Can't they do that anyway? That's, that's fine. They will also attack enemies between you and your target, allowing you to attack multiple enemies at once. Wait, what? So you're gonna so if you hit the guy in the back, you'll hit the guy in front of you too. Oh, that's cool. Another feature is that equipping a spear will also increase your defense. That's also good. You should also remember that spear weapon skills can hit multiple enemies at once. Spears offer a variety of ways to fight. You should try one out. Humanoid weapons are weapons that only humanoids can equip. Yeah, I'm sorry. It's fine. Uh, axes are the most powerful of all weapons. They reduce your speed, but when they hit, the damage is devastating. Axes deal more damage than any other weapon and have a much higher critical rate making them deal even more damage. They also have skills that decrease the defense of the enemy, so use them wisely. Add them to team attacks, combos, and support attacks, and watch the damage pile on. Humanoid weapons are weapons that... Uh, sorry, I'll read it like every time too. You watch. Bows can attack enemies from a distance. Their normal attacks are based on attack and hit. Another characteristic of bows is that they can attack any panel within their attack range. This is when the... the in Disgaea 2, they did the split between bows and and guns. Guns being a straight line and bows being any panel on range. And I think that's the same here. Make sure to raise your hit because only raising your attack will not take advantage of their full potential. And also use glasses apparently. Their attack range is very wide. Equipping them will increase your hit which is useful against speedy enemies. Bow weapon skills have long ranges and can target anyone within range, making them very useful on complicated maps. Good. Like their damage, bow weapon skills are based on attack and hit. Bows are good for low defense characters and are useful for increasing your combos. Alright, and then gun and staff, and then maybe we'll be done? I don't know, we'll see. Guns have the longest range of any weapon. I'll probably go through the entire Pocket Netherworld talk to everybody, get that out of the way in this first episode. Again, build the hype get through all the stuff that we need to get through, learn all the game mechanics that they're going, given to us right now, and then we'll hop into the actual gameplay starting fresh in the next episode. I think that's how I'm going to do it. Now, uh, guns have the longest range of any weapon. Their normal attacks are based on hit and speed. Keep in mind, keep that in mind when using guns, your attack will not affect the damage at all. So it's hit and speed, okay? Although they have the longest range, they can only attack in straight lines. Unlike bows, you can only attack enemies within a range... Or within range on a straight range. Yeah, that's, that's fine. You just said that twice. Gun weapon skills work just like their normal attacks. Like their normal attacks based on hit and speed. That means guns are probably best paired with glasses and shoes. They also have the effect of lowering the speed of their target. Which makes it easier to hit faster enemies. Okay. And finally, the staff or staves. They are weapons that strengthen magic using abilities. For the most part, they are only good for characters who use magic. Uh, mainly increase int, so you should attack with magic rather than using normal attacks. Unlike other weapons, they don't have weapon skills. Staves should only be equipped by magic users. That's a not-so-subtle hint, guys and gals. Alright, so that's that. Okay, so we know all about weapons now. I'm gonna forget, like, most of it. Oh, wait. No, we don't. 
Do we? No, no, we, we do. We, we talked about... Okay. We're going to head down here. Uh, getting ready later. That's not up yet. Recruiter. Oh, that's where we recruit from. I'm sorry. We're still pre preparing. Data. Hi. Welcome. This is the data shop. You can check the items that you found on various data... Or sorry, or various data you've come across here. I want you to collect all the items that are scattered throughout the nether worlds and amass a ton of data. Well, that is a lot of stuff. I, I don't care right now. That's not super important. Mm. <laughs> Welcome to the trophy, the trophy, the trophy shop. You right there, your aura. You're no ordinary being. I guarantee that you can accomplish something. I've never felt this before. I will give you high praise for your activities. From now on, I'll monitor you. I'll give you a special trophy, depending on your activities. <laughs> How about it? It's special. Special, I tell ya. Now, do your best today, tomorrow, and beyond for my trophies. Go, young one. Okay. And then memories. I guess we can go back and look over things that we've redone. Uh, thank you for visiting. You can watch all the events that you've seen in the current run as many times as you want. If there are some events you want to look back or uh, skipped by accident. Don't worry, you can watch them here. We welcome unique people who just want to watch episode previews, too. Alright, please relax and have fun. Cool. I think we may be done with everything, guys and gals. I think we might have actually spoken with every character that is here. Except for the special content. So let's get that out of the way. Inject. Welcome to the special content shop. You can receive various special content that has been sent to a Disgaea 5 here. All of the content is powerful, all of the content is very special. You use them wisely and according to the situation. Are right, we going to check the content for... Oh my god. Uh, first... Okay. I'm not going to... I'm not going to get the gift of hell. I think I'm going to skip these printies? What did that say? The Bon Kai printy from Bleach? That's funny. Uh, La Pucelle. I want that game to be ported to PC too, by the way, guys and girls. For the main character, Prierre, I guess, has fallen to the dark side and taken the form of Overlord Prierre. I'm sure he's he's pronounced completely different. If you clear the scenario, we'll become your ally. Oh, so these are a bunch of scenarios. Makai Kingdom, we get the Zeta episode. The the badass freaking Overlord Zeta, or Zeta, Pram the Oracle and, and Zeta's daughter will join. Adele episode. We get Adele, Axel, and Rosalyn. Metalia from The Witch and the Hundred Knight. Almaz. Sapphire. Uh, those two characters. Okay. This is from also Disgaea 3. Mayo. Or Mayo, Rasbarrel, and Diaz. The, oh, the Diaz gentleman. Salvatore the Magnificent. So those three. Okay. Okay, uh, Nisa, the popular human manifestation of NISA, or NIS America, has a right, we're, we're getting it. That is, yes. We're, we're gonna snag up Nisa, she's gonna join the squad. Sky of Four, the Fuka episode. Uh, fell to Hades, Fuka, Desco, and Emazel will join. So this is a character, these are all scenarios to unlock other people. We can get... Val Vitores, Fenric, and the Angel of Avarice, Artina. Girl Laharl. Eh. That's from Disgaea D2. That's weird. I, I might grab that too. And another one, the Laharl episode. We can get Overlord Laharl, Etna, Flan, and Sicily. I don't know who that is, but again, it's from Disgaea D2. I've not played that one. And a weapon a starter set. I'm not going to use that. So we're going to get Nisa. Okay, cool. And we're going to get Laharl. We'll unlock the scenarios a little bit later, but I want to play through some of the game before we do any of the other stuff. So I'm not going to unlock any of the other things right now. But the scenarios I'm definitely looking forward to. I guess we'll get this. I mean, I'm, I don't think I'm going to use her. Chances are I'm only going to use Nisa. I don't think I'm going to use Girl Laharl or any of that stuff. We'll, we'll see. All right, so that's done. Let's go take a quick look at our characters. So we have Kilia, Serafina, and the oh, we have uh, Seth, Jake, and Bonnie, and then Nisa. I'm gonna move Nisa up here. Um, arrange, and you will hold the button, and then move. Oh, that's cool. 
All right, and then I'm just gonna leave these guys at the bottom. Um, she looks like she's quite a bit. St well, she's a lower. Lo she's the same level. I guess she's not that that different. I wonder what kind of equipment she has. I know this episode's going a bit long, guys and gals. I kind of apologize. Let's see what she has. What is evility? What? I don't know. I I guess they'll teach us that soon. The Prinnacle Shooter. That's that's legit. It's a legendary item. And it does a lot of damage. Maybe I should remove that and just put another gun in there just to make her on point. But I, I don't want to, so I might not. I don't. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know what I'm gonna do. Anyway, ladies and gentlemen, we're gonna hop into the dimension guide, printy dimension printy, and we're gonna go and start up all the stuff that we got to start up and all the gameplay things, and everything else in the next episode. I'm sorry if this took a little bit longer getting through everything, but we're we're covered. Went through all the tutorialized stuff. We've learned a whole bunch about the game. We got to rock out to the little peaceful track. We got to meet some of the characters. We went through everything. We're ready to hop in and begin in the next one. If you guys want more information about the game, where to get the game information on the developer, or any of that wonderful fun stuff, it'll all be down below in the description of the video and various links and things of that nature. I hope you guys did enjoy this video. If you did, please go ahead and leave a like. Give me that thumbs up, guys and gals. It helps tremendously. Subscribe to the channel. There's a ton of Disgaea stuff on the channel. There'll be a ton more. This is one of my favorite series of all time. It's getting more and more so as I continue to play these games. And yeah, until the very next episode, my name's Bumpy McSquiggums. Thank you so much for stopping by The Freak Show, and I will see you later.